Revolution just came out with their new Juicy Peptide Lip Balm. They have four shades. Of course, they are very inspired by all of those different juicy lip glosses, lip balms with a tint in a tube. And like they did their own version of it. I have all the shades, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna tell you if this is a good product. So let's get into it. All right, let's remove this situation because we're gonna be trying this all out on the lips. So these are all lip balms. They are supposed to be very hydrating and then with a slight tint. There's also one clear one. Sounds very interesting. I love a tinted lip balm. So the first flavor shade that we're gonna try out is the one in ice. I have to be honest, I'm not very good at placing scents. I'm very good at smelling scents, like I have a very sensitive nose. But don't ask me to tell you what fruit this is. Maybe it's peach? Mandarin? I don't know. It smells a little citrusy? I don't know. Okay, let's apply. This is a very juicy feeling very thick and juicy now i feel like it smells more like mandarin or orange okay that looks really nice very juicy i feel like i can kind of taste the scent of this i don't really love tasting the scent usually but that feels and looks really really nice should i zoom in a little bit so that is the clear balm that feels really good very hydrating very plushy this is not a thin feeling lip product it's not i think gonna disappear on the lips really quickly it's not a lip oil it definitely feels very very hydrating okay let's do the next one all right next shade i have here in front of me is gonna be the shade strawberry and i have a feeling this is gonna also smell like strawberry and this is a light pink one i have a feeling this is gonna be my favorite i love light pink anything it is my thing if you follow me, like I always go for the pink things or sometimes lilac. I, I just love pastels. Okay, that just right away feels and looks so juicy. This one is very subtle. The strawberry is kind of like strawberry candy, but I kind of like it. That feels and looks really, really nice. I do have to say I haven't tried any of the other very, pop very popular, very viral lip products. They are not like that easily accessible to me. They're not that easily available. I don't have a Sephora in the country where I live. I live in the Netherlands. So I'm sorry if you have any questions about how does it, ca how does it compare to that or that. I cannot tell you. But I can tell you that I really, really like this. It's so juicy looking and it feels really nice. I can definitely see myself throwing this in a purse and just reapplying and reapplying almost like blindly because it's very lightly pigmented. And this is just a very cute shade. Very nice. So the next shade that we have here is going to be the Juicy Lip Balm in Spice. So this one I saw on the website where I ordered this as nude spice but here it just says spice and this seems to be kind of like a warm peachy nude a little bit on the muted side so let's see how this looks Ooh. i think i'm liking this one more than i thought it's turning kind of rosy because it is sheer and a kind of lets my natural lip colors shine through. I feel like these are so flattering on the lips, like there's no sinking into the lip lines, no weirdness, no weird patchiness, it doesn't emphasize any dryness. I think this is super, super juicy looking and feeling. Like there's nothing weird here. I have been dealing with some like weird looking lip products on my lips, like them grabbing on a little weird to certain places, but I feel like this one, is not doing that but we have a deeper shade so the question is also how is that deeper shade gonna look on my lips because i feel like usually the really light shades or the really deep shades are the problem so the last one in the range is called latte and this is the deepest one it's a little bit of a warm brown kind of vibe and yeah almost a little mauve it has some cool tone vibe to it so let's see this one definitely smells like coffee. The other ones, I find the the fishy nude one a little hard to place. Like I would have to do some research. 
I'm totally messing up. I should not talk and apply. Okay, the packaging is not my favorite. Not in the sense that I hate it, but it's not my favorite. I just feel like a doe food is a little bit easier to use. But this is also a really nice shade. I feel like it's still pretty cool toned and still pretty wearable, like easy to use. I feel like with a light pink and a clear one, I probably won't use a mirror. Then with these last two shades, I would pay a little bit more attention. But yeah, once again, this is also a really nice shade. Looks very juicy, feels really nice. Of course, I do have to like test this out a little bit more and see like how my lips feel after, how long do they wear. Like there's no stick to it whatsoever. It doesn't feel sticky, feels very like juicy, a little watery, like thick enough, but watery. So there's not really like a grip to it. So I'm gonna see how it's gonna wear and how it's gonna make my lips feel like. Is it really gonna hydrate them? I cannot tell you that right now, but I'll probably leave this on and do something like a pink comment to let you know how I felt after wearing it. I feel like this one also doesn't look weird. It looks really good and it smells really good. I like the scents of all of these. Like these are really nice lip products so far. I just cannot tell you exactly what they smell like. Um, I feel like so far so good. I'm excited. I'm gonna try them out more. These were all the shades. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye!